As the time drew near for San Diego Comic-Con, my excitement began to build. I was looking forward to seeing the creativity and craftsmanship of female cosplayers, who in recent years have risen to the top of the cosplay world. But then, I was struck by a troubling thought. What about the men? Often relegated to the shadows, would they finally get their chance in the spotlight? This is the year of the male cosplayer. I have seen so many shirtless dudes, whether they could be shirtless or whether they shouldn't be shirtless. <laughs> With their lack of fabric and abundance of skin, who were all these half-naked men? Were they true geeks or opportunists pandering for attention? I'm sure that you're getting a lot of attention. All day. It must be how you ladies feel when they go to a bar or something. Has anybody questioned you as a geek? No. Mm, see? You're not, not quite there yet. It's an excuse to show off the guns and you know, yeah, bring them out. <laughs> Did you come out here to get attention or? I came out here to enjoy the environment and see different panels and such. I'm trying to cosplay a little more here and there. Sure, Bing was charming, but was there a true fanboy underneath all those layers of muscle? These Ewoks didn't mind either way. I'm not gonna complain. Can't hate on him. <laughs> For sure. There's this Superman we were like, whoa, is he is whoo. Is your outfit an excuse to show off your amazing pectoral muscles? The fakery was hard to miss. You know, Jennifer, these guys are not real nerds. But that's my thing. They're is that attention? That's all these guys are doing, you know. There's, yeah, <laughs> they're spending more time in the in the gym than they are reading the comics. <laughs> You're a very fit man. How many hours do you spend in the gym? Anywhere between an hour to two day, uh, a day or every other day. Just as much as possible, to be honest. While male cosplayers spend hours at the gym, I asked women how they spend their free time. How many hours would you say that you play video games? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Like, Mass Effect playthroughs have like 30 plus hours each game. There's three games and I played at least like four playthroughs of each. So that's just one game. <laughs> I try not to count because it makes me feel really bad about my life. I probably spend more money on plastic figurines than most people do in their lifetime in a year. I buy all the graphic novels. I've got all the statues. I love the Star Wars, the Star Trek. The Wonder Woman, the superheroes, I love it all. With geeks like this, it's no wonder some guys are faking their fandom. Perhaps it's now time to implement some form of geek identification. Do you have what's called a geek card? A very large one. You know, we don't want to witch hunt. No one wants to be around like, oh, you're not a real geek. Because at the end of the day, what is a real geek? I mean, there's so many things you can be geeky over and nerdy over that there's no, like, level. There's no test that you can take. There's no standardized. <laughs> Should there be? No, because <laughs> I would fail it. <laughs> they would kick me out. I understood Andre's point, but my geek rage had taken over. I needed help. So I spoke with Dr. Andrea Letamendi to get some mental clarity. A lot of us have had um, histories of being sort of left out and histories of not being a part of something. So when we now are feeling like we're in the majority and somebody is kind of, you know, trying to be into the things that we are, there is that sense of like, you know, do you really belong? Because I have belonged to this for a very long time. My mind was blown. Maybe my desire to exclude certain people from my community had little to do with their muscles and more to do with my past pains. Maybe these muscly men were not a pox on our geek culture after all. A lot of them do it just for the art of either costume making or just for celebrating characters, char uh, characters that we all love and, ad and adore. It was time to end this geek on geek hate. I think the more fans, the better. I mean, it's good to unite people. I think people should love what they love and be proud of it and be proud to show it off. That's what Comic-Con's all about and that's why I love Comic-Con so much. These are my people and I love them. I learned that checking someone's cred goes against everything this community is about. And whether you've been a part of this community for 30 years or three weeks, wear a shirt or not, all fans should be welcome. So say we all.